Welcome to the Temple Learning Tool for Tyrosinemia Type 1. Temple, Tools Enabling Metabolic Parents Learning, was developed in partnership with the British Inherited Metabolic Disease Group and Nutritia Metabolics. Your baby may have been diagnosed with hereditary tyrosinemia type 1, or HT1. We are here to help you understand the diagnosis and what you can do to make sure your baby grows and develops just like any other bundle of joy. What is HT1? HT1 is an inherited metabolic condition which stands for hereditary tyrosinemia type 1, where the body has trouble breaking down protein which it needs to help grow and repair itself. Protein is made up of chains of smaller units called amino acids. Tyrosine and phenylalanine are two of those amino acids. Our body changes amino acids into other substances, or energy, with the help of enzymes. This process is called metabolism. For someone without HT1, the amino acid tyrosine breaks down into other substances and the enzyme fumaralacetoacetate hydrolase, commonly referred to as FAH, then metabolizes one of these substances into fumarate and acetoacetate. When someone has HT1, there is not enough FAH, so only a very small amount of tyrosine is completely metabolized into fumarate and acetoacetate. Instead, toxic substances are created. Since tyrosine is part of all protein, this makes it difficult to completely break down protein, and it leads to a buildup of toxins in the body. These substances are called fumaralacetoacetate, succinylacetone, and aminolevulinic acid. Without proper medical and nutrition management, the buildup of these toxins over time can cause liver failure and can lead to liver cancer and kidney problems. Babies might also experience poor weight gain and older children might develop bone problems. However, with proper management, the buildup of the toxins is controlled to support normal growth and development of your child. HT1 is screened through the newborn screening process and diagnosed with additional blood tests. The blood sample is analyzed to measure the level of succinylacetone, one of the toxins that develops in HT1. Some regions might analyze blood tyrosine levels, however, this test is less specific than testing for succinylacetone. How did your child get HT1? HT1 is an inherited condition. There is nothing that could have been done to prevent HT1. In children with HT1, the genes that make the enzyme to fully break down tyrosine do not work correctly. Each child inherits one non-working gene from each parent. Parents of children with HT1 are referred to as carriers, but do not have HT1 themselves. Most people don't know they're carriers. When both parents are carriers, there is only a 1 in 4 chance their child will inherit HT1. It is possible for a child to not be a carrier if they inherit a working gene from both parents. There are two parts to managing HT1, a medication and your baby's diet and both must be started immediately after a confirmed diagnosis. The medication is called nitocinone, or NTBC. NTBC helps prevent the buildup of the toxins. It also helps prevent liver and kidney damage and helps to lower the risk of liver cancer. Your child will start taking NTBC as soon as possible. Taking NTBC medication is important, but it has metabolic side effects, such as the buildup of tyrosine. Dietary phenylalanine, or FE, another amino acid, is also converted into tyrosine, further adding to too much tyrosine in the body. Therefore, the other important part of HT1 management is a special diet which is restricted in whole protein to limit tyrosine and phenylalanine intake. A special metabolic formula is also an important part of the diet. Together, medication and nutrition management help assure your baby grows up just like any other bundle of joy. Even though tyrosine and phenylalanine are unsafe for someone with HT1, they are essential for normal growth and development. A limited and controlled amount must be taken daily. This means that your baby can only have small amounts of breast milk or standard infant formula. As your child gets older and starts eating regular food, Foods that are high in protein must be avoided, since all protein contains tyrosine and phi. 
Your dietitian will tell you how much breast milk, infant formula, and natural food to feed your baby. To help add variety into your child's diet, Nutrisha offers special low-protein foods, including low-protein fruity cereals, animal pasta, and cake mix. You can also find a wide range of low-protein recipes at medicalfood.com. Your clinic will work with you to teach you how to track and limit tyrosine and fee. In addition to a tyrosine and fee-restricted diet, a special metabolic formula is essential. This special formula does not contain tyrosine and fee, but provides otherwise all the necessary vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy your baby needs to grow. Your dietitian will determine how much metabolic formula to give your baby. TYR Animix Early Years is the first HT1 infant formula to contain DHA, ARA, and prebiotics. DHA helps your baby's brain and eye development, while the prebiotic supports immune and digestive health. For every child, regular checkups are essential. They are especially important for a child with HT1. During your clinic visit, your baby's height and weight will be measured. Blood tests will be taken to check amino acid and nutrient levels. You will review your child's blood tests, growth, development, medication dosage, and current diet, and make adjustments accordingly. Other tests might be done as well to make sure your child stays healthy. What happens if your baby gets sick? Your clinic will give you instructions on what to do when your child gets sick. This is often called a sick day protocol. One of the most important things during illness will be for your baby to continue to take the medication and follow the sick day diet. Contact your clinic if you have any concerns. To review, HT1 is a serious inherited metabolic disorder. You can manage it with a medication and a diet low in tyrosine and fee and a special metabolic formula. Remember to always give the correct medication dose amount of tyrosine and fee from breast milk, regular infant formula or natural foods, as well as the metabolic formula as prescribed by your metabolic clinic. Always have a good supply of non-expired, low-protein foods and metabolic formula. Regular clinic visits are important and your metabolic team is your best partner in helping you. Always have their contact information close by. And remember, when correctly managed, your child can enjoy normal growth and development. To learn more about HT1 and how you can support your child, visit medicalfood.com.